What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. What are we doing today? We have a full glaze kiln and it's a very exciting glaze kiln. So I have had this gradient background. So if you look right over here, so white to black, like normal professional products or ceramics, like if you look in ceramics monthly, then you're gonna see pictures with like that gradiated background, right? And I have never really taken pictures like that. I always just take them outside and do it with natural lighting or just kind of whatever. Like I do like to take good pictures and I do think about pictures, but I don't go as far as to like set up a studio setting. So for this video, I realized that I have this background. I also am doing an Etsy restock at some point this week. So hopefully either Thursday or Friday. So keep an eye out for that. And so I thought I might as well try and like take some pictures and then see if you guys can like tell a difference. So I'm gonna insert a lot of pictures with a gradiated background. A few of them I'll go like back to back. So I'll say do the same pot outside and then do the same pot inside with the gradiated background and see like, you guys tell me in the comments, what do you like better? I don't know yet cause I haven't done it. So I don't know what I like better. I don't know, I've never really, I've never really done it. So a couple cool things in this kiln, we fired a couple pots upside down, which is kind of cool. I think that they turned out, I just saw one of them on the top. So let me, I'll show you, let's, let's go look at it. I'll show you right now. If you can see, this one right here, I fired upside down. And this one is actually the third time I fired this pot. And so, like, check this out. Isn't that cool? The way I did this was I have this little, so this has little teeth on it, and it comes right off, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then, so I fired it upside down. So the bottom is not unglazed. It has glaze on the bottom, which makes it super smooth. And then these drips, came down and like dripped right off, which some people might think it's kind of weird to like put your mouth on a drip, but it's really smooth and it's actually quite a kind of cool feeling. So anyway, I think that is super cool. Love that. I kind of want to start doing more of that. And then this one I fired for a third time because it had crazy pinholes in it. And so I just filled up the pinholes with glaze and then fired it upside down and see that, that in there? Comes right off, boom. So that's cool, that's really fun. Look at that sandstone bowl, beauteous. Beauteous, some mugs, Aurora green over green opal. This one, oh, I forgot to say, shout out to the sponsor of this video, Mako, Mako Colors, all the glazes that are in this, all the glazes in here uh, are provided by Mako and they're stoneware, so check them out. Uh, they have a link that's just for John the Potter, so mako.com, makocolors.com slash John the Potter. Oh, thank you Mako very much for sponsoring this video. What else we got? We got this sweet one, little carved action in there. Got a little marbled clay action in there. That's super cool. Super cool. And then another marbled one with the Aurora Green over Green Opal. Boom, sweet. That's the top shelf. Oh, and then these are letters that I'm gonna make a sign for the studio. And that one seemed to stick. Oh, and that one seemed to stick too. Please don't break, please don't break. Oh, yes. These are really cool. So this one first is, what is this? Um, Norse blue over sandstone. And then I have some slip uh, design in there. So if you can see that, that's turned out really cool. So all those lines in there are actually slip, a slip work. Um, and then this one is another big one with some alterations from the inside. I kind of did that twisted design, not warped at all. Beautiful. I think I'm getting a little better at the warpage issues here in this studio. So that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then this one is really cool. Woo. So on the outside, I carved it. You see that? This one has that carved outside, which I really like that. I'm pretty proud of that. And then the inside is this winter wood over top of the bright blue gloss, which 
turned out really nicely. Is that better? Nice, love that, love it. Ooh, nice, and then here we have another large, another large bowl that's really cool looking. Whoo, that's awesome. Twisted design, not warped at all. Gorgeous. That's really cool. So cool. Oh, oh, and then that Norse blue I have been thinking was a little thin. So then I thickened it up, which I think looks really good now. So that's Norse blue over sandstone. Man, it's getting hot in here. Hot. Hot. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a tank top, it's because it's like 80 some degrees in here. Again, there's the Norse blue over sandstone. Oh, and then here's some marbled marbled clay. I don't think I've, you've seen me see in a video in a little while, but I'm just kind of working on this to get a little better at the technique before I do a video about it. And here's some colored marbled clay. So that blue and green within the Aurora green around the rim. So those turned out really good. Ooh, this is interesting. Carved marble, yes. Mar more marbled clay with the Aurora green. I really like that stuff. Super fun. And then Norse blue over sandstone. Really, really good stuff. Boom. So here's a bunch more of the Norse blue mugs. Here's a few, like there's that Minnesota honeycomb. And then there's a Mocha Monkey one. Yes. And then we have a bunch of this. This is the Sauve glaze. So on the Kickstarter, we had people that were, they bought the ability to name a glaze combo. And so this is the Sauve glaze, this brown drippy awesomeness. That's what it is. That's the description for that glaze. Brown drippy awesomeness. And that's all the rest of them. Drippy Sauve. Got a bunch of those. So we'll probably put some of those up on the Etsy shop this week. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. There we go. That is all the pots in this kiln, guys. All right, friends, that was a fun one. How about, how about those upside down pots? How about these upside down mugs? Like, what do you think of that? Okay, so what I really need you to comment below on is what do you think of the pictures in this video? So, like, do you like the gradated background? inside pictures or do you like the more natural outdoor pictures that's what i'm wondering and i don't know yet because i haven't done it yet so i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna figure out what i like better so i just took pictures of like most of the stuff and i just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see the setup of how i took those pictures so basically we got the gradated background in here and then i got two different lights one kind of lighting up the backdrop from the like, so hopefully the light bounces down. Like I talk, like I know what I'm talking about, but really I'm just guessing. Uh, and then one to light up the front. So you guys tell me, how did the pictures look? Do they look better than normal? Do they look, I think they're gonna look really good. Just from what I saw, it seemed like it was gonna be pretty cool. So now I'll just go take the pictures of a few outside, how I would have normally done it um, before I got this little guy set up. And comment below, tell me what you think. This versus this what's better also depends on the light outside too that's why i like this is because this is always going to be the same i don't have to wait for like good early morning light or good late night or find a place in the shade or whatever like this is going to always be set up i also shot it with this which is my sister's lens it's a uh, 24 to 105 so i shot most of them at 105 um if you're a photography nerd I also am gonna do a future video about phones versus cameras. Like, can you tell the difference when I take a picture of a pot with my phone or take a pot picture of a pot with my camera? Cause that's gonna be super interesting. That was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by at the studio. Shout out to the sponsor, Mako Colors. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. They're sending me a few more new glazes pretty soon. So we've done a ton with uh, Norse Blue, Aurora Green, Sandstone. Like we have a ton of those glazes, but we're gonna get some new ones and start getting some new colors in there. We got lots of blues and greens. Cheers, gotta drink some coffee. Mm. Doesn't that look so much better with that in the background? I think yes. I think yes. Okay, so comment below. What do you like better? Outdoor pictures, indoor pictures. What do you like better? Hair down or hair up? That's it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things.
We'll see you in the next video.